Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to Gift Varsity TV. Uh, this is your host, Gift Bozekana. So, uh, don't forget to like, thumbs up, and don't forget to leave a nice comment. Thumbs up, guys, because this will assist this video so that more students that are the target market of this video, this video can reach to them and be able to get some information that is crucial and have an idea about what they want to study, right? As much as we're not much in detail here, we're just giving you an idea and whether is it a great career option to take and stuff, right? So guys, I'm not an expert in this, but today we'll be talking about computer science. Uh, as we know that uh, we are living in a world of technology and each and every day the technology that we use it's advancing more it becomes more advanced and advanced and advanced the question is now for me and you what is, what is computer science right probably someone doesn't know what is computer science there are even people who knew about computer science when they enrolled at university but there is a course that requires you your thing ability your critical thinking skills and your critical solving of problems that you have right so uh, which is computer science right uh, computer science it's very very important in different fields right whether it can be the field of uh, commerce, uh, the field of finance, the field of mining, the field of science, engineering, mathematics, even the music and the entertainment industry. It means that computer science is very, very important in many, many fields, almost every field, right? Because they are there as computer scientists to solve the problems that may arise in multiple different fields but now let's go to the requirements of computer science at a selected few universities the majority of the universities in south africa and in the world they offer computer science so we're not going to cover all the requirements from all the universities we're just going to select a few like the university of pretoria uh, the University of Cape Town, Vets University, and uh, Stellenbosch University, and University of Johannesburg, right? You know, starting with the University of Cape Town, they say there you need a mathematics of uh, level six. And another thing that I must highlight, guys, with computer science, you don't need any background in coding. What they look at is the math, your mathematics, and English. I don't even think they, they look at physics. I'm not sure because in most cases, it's not written as a requirement. But what is written as a requirement, it's your mathematics pure. Because mathematics pure, it shows that you are able and capable of solving problems. So meaning that you stand a chance of surviving in this course if you are good in mathematics, right? So they require your mathematics as level six at the uh, UCT and physics level five. Yes, it's mentioned physics. Other universities, they don't mention physics, but at UCT, they did mention physics. Then at VETS, you need an APS of 44 plus. So VETS is a way in which they calculate their AP score, guys. So you need to visit online and see how do they calculate their AP score, right? and stuff and all of that because sometimes they say uh, people who got 50 plus so there's a way that they calculate so you need to visit and so they need english level five and maths level six so i have i said that having a background in coding does not necessarily mean that not having a background rather does not necessarily mean that you can't do this course because in each and every university this course is beginner friendly they start you from scratch so that you understand the basic knowledge of knowing how to code 
in different languages. If you have coded before in high school, yes, it's your advantage, but even if you've never come across a computer and all of the stuff, you can still survive in this course. And there are people who graduated in this course and they are working well and they are supporting their family and they are living their best life and they've changed their lives, right? Stellenbosch, they require your mathematics to be level six. At UJ, to do computer science at APK, which is uh, Auckland Park, Kingsway campus, you need a maths level six, English level five, uh, right? So at UP level five, maths level five, English, right? So guys, all of these uh, 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 requirements, it's very important that you visit the specific university, right? Familiarize yourself with the modules to expect because what I know in computer science, the majority of the time you have the electives, right? Whether it can be physics, information system, chemistry, whatever, but make sure that the elective that you select, it doesn't become your major so that you don't focus on computer science rather than. So very important, you do your own research, ask people who have done computer science in a university that you believe that you are going to be enrolled in, right? Try to contact the students so that you can ask them, oh, what is an elective that I should choose? How is computer science? What to expect, right? Familiarize with the modules of next year, like be busy, do your own research and make sure that this is what you want and this is what you see yourself doing for the rest of your life, right? So now let's go to the career fields and career opportunities that comes with computer science. As I recently started with the introduction saying that computer science is about solving problems so it means that every field there is a problem right and computer science can be important in that field but here are the few career opportunities with someone who's holding a qualification in computer science uh, so you can be a software and a system architecture which means you can be also a software engineer you can be in software development you can be in consulting, you can be in database and uh, systems administration. You can be in app development, you can develop the apps that you see. You can be in game design, the, the games that you're playing, and you know, there's someone behind that who have a knowledge in coding and computer science. You can be a data scientist, which is one of the uh, emerging and the most fields that are in demand nowadays. Even at Stellenbosch University, there is a course in data science and salt plaque university there you can be in machine learning engineer you can be in robotics you can be in artificial intelligence because nowadays we use ai right most of the time so i like to believe there's someone behind those things who has a coding knowledge they you can be in cyber security you can be in computer graphic designer you can be even an information technology manager I've been mentioning a lot of career opportunities, meaning that in this field of computer science, there is a lot of opportunities that you can pursue. So do not hesitate. If you believe that you can survive in this course, there are people who survived and they are living their best life and they are making sure that their lives are better and all of this stuff, right? So choosing computer science, will never be the bad, bad decision. Don't ever think that you're not capable of choosing this course. You are capable. There are people who chose it, and today they are graduates of computer science. Others, they decided to pursue postgraduate qualification, their masters, even the PhD in computer science so that they can specialize and be able to become experts in different fields of computer science. So, to all prospective computer science students, I wanna say all the best and it's highly possible and do not lose hope. I wish you all the best. Guys, don't forget to visit LinkedIn. It's like I'm sponsoring LinkedIn now. No, no, no. It's like I'm, 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 I'm advertising, but I'm not advertising LinkedIn, but I just want every student and every high school learner that is a, a prospective a student of computer science to visit this app because it gives you more details about people 
who did what you want to study. You can connect with them, you can DM them and ask them questions. You can even just look at the different companies that hire people who studied computer science, right? And what to expect, which language is this company focused. So this is very, very an important thing, right? It requires you to be a critical thinker and the most important problem solver. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a nice comment and subscribe and share this video to many people. Go there and choose computer science. Hi, Bitunana, thank you.